Welcome back to the Theater Kings 2 on Theory DLC. We're back as the Emperor Ordano de Cantavilla of the Empire of Storis. We are winding down to the, I guess, last half a year maybe left of uh, consumption in our area. Uh, we have the gates closed, but we are going to be opening them up here, hopefully. I'm um, hopefully, uh, when February hits, we, uh, it's at least out of Seville. But we're going to have to open them up probably a little earlier because we have a crusade we're part of. Um, we are fighting for our kinsmen whose dad, I think I thought her dad was a co his cousin, or our cousin, but I guess not, um, I think he was, uh, our dad's cousin, something like that, but, uh, yeah, he's already the, uh, this is the King Gaultier, uh, of the, uh, Children's Crusade, um, considered the Chosen of Gabriel, uh, he only has the, pretty much the Duchy of, uh, Jerusalem, let's take this off, uh, if you look here, Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much the duchy plus Jaffa. But he actually doesn't even have this because this is actually being held by old Ali the Devil of the Jerusalemite Revolt. Um, King Gauti is winning this right now. But uh, it couldn't have come at a better time because in 20-something days, the crusade starts. Now, we're not going to change recipient because we helped him win the children's crusade. Uh, I don't see anybody better but him to take the rest of the kingdom. Uh, it is up against Sultan Biktar, uh, the mutilator. He's 55. He doesn't have that many men, but he does have a decent amount of people with him. I mean, if you look at the total strength, ours is 115 to their 86. So it's really not that, like, one-sided. Usually they're, like, so one-sided. Um, we look at contribution. There is 35,000 worth in gold. Uh, 11, and there's 12,000 worth of uh, piety, uh, 24 artifacts, which I don't really want to get in on, uh, and then we have 31,000 in prestige. Now, we gave a little bit of money already, I might give a little more, but I think because it's a crusade, we can go ahead and raise our men ahead of time, um, but we do need to do some cleaning up real quick. We have a couple of vassals that are a little pissy. This guy... Nothing I can do about. I mean, I could give him money, but I'm not giving him. I think it's like a, it was 200. Yeah, I'm not giving him that much. He's just gonna have to be pissy. Um, he wants the kingdom of Sturis, which is not gonna happen. Um, this guy though is one of the newly uh people we've taken over. For one, we're going to be a good emperor since we're charitable. We're going to release his wife. And then we are going to, he wants control of the county of Bordeaux and the Prince Bishop of, of Agen, which is under his high lordship. So we're going to give him them. Uh, it's only right. I try to give everybody the vassals are supposed to be under them. So we'll go ahead and give him him. That already made him positive. And then we will give him Bordeaux. And that should make him really happy. So there you go. Um, so yeah, he's the main one. Uh, we, have to keep we have our niece, who is the Duchess of Toulouse now. We have that. Uh, we could take this back. Uh, we would need to spend some prestige. We can get that whole uh, thing because it's under Aquitaine. Because we have usurped that title. Um, Aquitaine, we cannot change for a little bit. Because we have to wait for 10 years. Uh, we've only been three. So we should be alright. I mean, we're, we're kind of young. Uh, so yeah, that guy is pretty much only negative now, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have a priest. There's a priest I need to give money to. Um, one of these priests likes to poke more. We can't have that. I want that tax money. Where the hell is he? I know he's one of them because I see him. There it is right here. So, it's only 15, so I'll give him that. It pays itself off in the end. So we have vicious rumors right now. Um, then we're gonna, we have the coward thing. That's why this one guy hates us because uh, we've closed the gates twice already under this guy from disease. So we got twenty four days or twenty three days. So we're gonna go ahead and, and raise our men first. Let's check and see how much money we can give some money. I'm all about giving to the calls. 
Uh, ho! 733. We'll gain a lot of press. I mean, a lot of piety. Um, why not? Make a lot of money. Not as much as we did with the dad, but still a good amount. Alright, can we make any more mercs? Oh, we sure can. Alright, uh, how many do we have now? 2,400 at, at full strength. They are costing us a quite a bit of change right now, but it's okay. Um, I think I'm about to leave them behind when we go on this uh, crusade. So we have, what, how many are the Cavaleros? They're, what, 1,200. So we'll be able to get one of those, but it's worth it. We'll go ahead and do it now. So how are these guys, we're going to have them just go right down uh, to the capital, I guess. Um, let's see, how many do we have? We're, almost, we're pretty much at full strength there. So we'll take these 10,000. How many boats do we have? We have 164. So that's 16,000 men we can bring with us. So we'll pretty much raise most of all our men. And then just take who we can take. Um, let's see. I think we'll raise like Seville. Okay, just we'll leave our capital just in case they try to come after us. So we'll go ahead and raise Seville. Raise them. We can get a head start pretty much on uh with the crusade because it's gonna be called regardless. Um, you know we'll leave them too. I think, and then we'll bring uh. Or hold on, let's do it this way. Yeah, we'll bring them. Let's see. They're all raised. They're all raised. All right. Um, we have some up here. I think we'll take Leon and Navarro. Navarra. I mean, that'd be good on our end, and the rest can be vassal men. This is gonna be a, like a most. You know, we'll take uh. Lugo too. That'll be good. And then we'll take uh have these guys go to the coast. They're gonna get on the boats. So they're going back home. You stay there. Alright. And we can raise our uh holy order troops, our Calatrava. So we're gonna do that too, because it's only a little bit of piety. So we will raise them. Get the holy war, we don't have to pay for him. I don't think we have to pay for him anyways. Um I guess we'll have him go up there. And then we will take the rest of the vassals. I should have just waited to do the whole mercenary thing. Um or right there. I don't want to come right here because maybe this should go away. So we'll do that. It's more of a a midway point. Alright, you guys go there. My retinue, let's see, rise. You guys get back to the capital because they might come and try to attack us here. There's some uh, Muslims close to us. I don't know if they're all Sunni, though. Um, these guys are moving, right? Okay, these guys, these guys are pointless. So, you know what? No, because we, I will need their votes, so I might as well just bring them with them. All right, uh, get these guys over. They're gonna come here. Same with these ones, need their boats. What the hell? Ah, oh, I raised in the wrong spot. There we go. Maybe come there. He's not in a revolt, right? Okay. Alrighty. So we are gonna since we have all them raised, we can have them go where they gotta go. Let's make sure our council is doing everything they need to do. Uh he's Doing that for Cagliari still, but it's for the duchy. Hopefully, I don't get that now that I spent all that money. That's exactly what's going to happen, so I know it. Uh, that we have everything we need here, pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Mm, somebody was just a favor, but that's no big deal. Let's check our tech. We're still a little bit of ways from the next military organization. Everything else is straight. We will uh, upgrade something here when we get the money or get more money, I'll say. All right, everybody start moving. So, food supplies are exhausted while well, you may be able to sca uh, scavenge enough food to survive for a while longer. San Cordova is clearly not a long term solution. Are we getting depopulization? I hope not. No. 
Alright, um. Whoa. Alright, we got open it. We just can't do it anymore. Alright, hopefully we're not starving still. Oh my god, it's no good. Alright, we can rank up. We need to pick theolo uh, theology, so we'll probably do that after the crusade. Hopefully it doesn't take... Oh no, we're actually up one, so we shouldn't have to like, give up anything. Let's see, we can't do that. So we'll do the war chest, just because the only thing we really can do. Uh, nothing else, nothing else. We're good. Alright, so let's get this thing on the road. Do we make any money off some of these people? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, how about you? You're only 10. This is that guy, I think, that tried to take uh, Andalusia. Um, yeah, we'll take it. The hell with it. Alright. While we wait for this to trigger. Oh, shit. What are you thinking? Alright, let's get all these boots. To where we gotta go. Oh, go there. I forgot all about the damn boats. Did I get all of them? I think so. All right. Everybody get where you gotta go. Emperor Ordano Vastorius has accepted a call to arms from Pope Leo, opposing Sultan Biktar the Mutilator, due to having pledged to join the crusade, had no other choice. All right. Crusade for Jerusalem. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares another crusade for Jerusalem. It was once part of the core Christian lands and lords from across the all across the world gathered to fight for it in a grand war once more. And Jerusalemite lands has long been under the tyrannic rule of the Mayamedine infidel Sultan Biktar of the Tulanid Sultanate. But with the upcoming Christian onslaught, it is only a matter of time before he will fall. God will grant remission of sin to everyone partaking in the religious or the righteous war so a lot of my vassals like joined it anyways but i mean we get their men so it isn't like who are these guys who are these extra like 300 men <laughs> i think they were from where i uh picked up men for my own all right so we get 100 piety uh you're gonna pay your ransom of course Make sure there's other guys get there. Alright. So everybody should be on a move now. What the hell? <laughs> this is like... It doesn't let me raise like a hundred that time. And then... Now it did it again. It's like 183. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I hope... They're all going there. Alright. Boats. We can raise two more. Wherever they came, well, one more. So let's do that again. I don't know what the point is of this. So one more boat. <coughs> All right, yeah, we have about half our men raised, so that's good enough. And we have the uh, holy order. Where's that eleven at? There, you guys stay put. And then you guys go to the capital. Good. All right. So where's our guy at? Ordano. There. You are going to come off that one. And you're going to come to this one. So we can keep you out of the path of sickness. <laughs> Hopefully our kids don't get sick. God, man. I hope it don't happen. All right. We've given up a lot of money, so we have, oh, it looks like it went up a little, 130 to, ooh, I think because somebody came to our side that theirs went down. I grant you permission to advance to the next rank within the Benedictine Order. I turned on the volume a minute ago because the damn Christmas music was so loud. <laughs> it was like screaming. Uh, we have a chance of getting sick still, so we got to really be careful. I think we've lost a commander somewhere. Alright, let's uh this guy's pretty good. We'll put him in there. Let's make sure there's nobody better. I saw an eight somewhere. 
Maybe he left. All right, that guy's no good. All right, they're just going to have to do. See, somebody's got consumption already. He's down in Algiers. Man, I hope this consumption goes away from Cordova. I just don't want all my kids get sick. Instituted absolute law in Egypt. All right. All the boat journals there. I think that's most of them. It's actually a little more than we're supposed to have, but won't complain. Yeah, all the boats are here. These guys are making their way. We have 10,000 here. Let's just put them together. Uh, we'll wait till we get enough to be able to go on the boat. We have 13 now. 14. Almost 15. <laughs> just little by little. Alright, uh, we just need a little bit more. Alright, Emperor Donna, I write to inform you the Holy See can no longer support Gautier de Cantabria from the lands of Jerusalem as he has passed away. Now supports his heir, Gautier. So he had an heir, I guess. He's lucky he had the kid. What? Uh. Why is he in? Hold on, this doesn't make any sense. It says they're supporting him, but it's it says the claimant is the girl. Hmm. I don't know. But at least he had a kid. He died in combat that quick. God damn. There's actually people there already. We need to get going. I should have raised them up a lot earlier. To tell you the truth, I wanted to kind of wait till the damn sickness went away, but. Alright, how many is going to be here? We're going to have way too many. The seven is going to be too much. Um, it's good enough. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys together. I don't know why these guys grouped up with us. They can't get on the boat. So we're going to take Wolfgang off because he's kind of terrible. Uh, he's okay. He's craving. So they got that guy's on the one end. So we'll put, I guess, him in place of uh, Wolfgang. Let's get them on the boat. Hurry up and get over here before the action gets taken from us. We'll go ahead and put that back on. Actually, go there. We need to hurry up and get into this, man. We're not going to get any participation. Duchess of Verona has 80% so far. That's only a good thing about being that close. You get in on it really quick. All right, my heir, as he is growing older, I can see that Enrico could use some guidance in some of my experience areas. I will require hard, it will require hard work. It may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Rodrigo. Uh, if we do patient, he is stewardship focused. Um, and ambitious would be good, though. Um, he picked up brave. That's good. Uh, he got erudite, though. Gregarious gives him diplomacy. Hopefully, he gets diligent. I mean, temperate's okay too for uh, stewardship. We really don't want to make him a uh, rival, though. Um, if we give him some money and we make him a rival, he's still going to be negative. He deserves greatness. Go get it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Make his stats a little better. <laughs> Who can we arrest? Uh, our kinsman for what? I don't know what he did. All right, let's get over here. Hopefully he doesn't get sick. I really suck. Where's our other men at? So we got 1,600 men here. Still got sickness going on there. Let's go ahead and take, oh shit. Whew, I think I, <laughs> Um, I thought I had, uh, what you call it, uh, disbanded them. Oh, my God, I was worried for a second. I mean, it wouldn't matter. I could do them again, but I didn't want to waste the money. All right, let's get these guys just, actually, let's put them up there. It's okay. Let's take these guys off. Actually, we'll put, uh, where's that one guy? Him. Keep them there just in case. Everybody's trooping, doesn't like too many people have the boots to get their men here. Young Rodrigo is impressing everyone with his sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. 
All right, so he got temperate instead of diligent, but we can give him just instead. Just will give him two stewardship, one learning, where temperate will give him just two stewardship. I guess it's always good to get uh, learning, too. So he got just good. Same amount of uh, stewardship, so why not get some extra for it? All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh no, we got to hit attack this guy, right? Where is the kingdom of Jerusalem? It's all that. All right. So we'll get off on Ascalon. Uh, we should be fine as long as the, uh, as long as the, uh, other guys aren't, like, chilling with us. I finally stand before the destination of the Crusaders, sword in hand. I am ready to storm the walls of Ascalon. I really hope we get Crusader. Nice, we got it. Last time we did one with the Children's Crusade, we didn't get it. Our armies now stand poised to take part in the Crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Deuce Volk. So we got a uh, plus two martial, plus ten personal combat, church opinion, all that jazz. Nice. Gives us some pretty good martial. Our stewardship's like great. Alright, so we got a lot of men sitting here with us. So this is going to start giving us attrition, but it's okay. I want to really fight some battles because they give you more participation score. After hearing about a wise man in the local area, I decided to go visit him and see what he has to offer. He starts talking about ephemeral concepts that sound like blasphemy, but I tell my men to go outside so I can hear what he has to offer. I'll learn what he has to offer, blasphemy or not. Uh, plus three learning, we gain 20 tech points. Goes away in 10 years. Um, blasphemy, blasphemers must die. But libraries contain knowledge. Uh, that gives us 50. But we get cruel. I don't really want cruel. Start secretly practicing a Sunni faith. <laughs> no. We'll, we'll do that. I don't think there'll be much bad that comes from that. Let's make sure we keep an eye. We need another commander. I oh, know, we need a regent. I think our mom died. Yep. Natural death. Alright. Is our son... Is my son 16? No. When's he turn? Somebody's gonna ask me for it, so I might as well give it to somebody. I don't wanna have to give it to somebody I don't want to. We actually could let our niece do it. Our niece is pretty good. Um, we have our one daughter. Really good marshal. Too bad we can't use her. She's arbitrary. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other family members other than my daughter? Let's go ahead and put uh our niece. She's sixteen, sixteen. Um, you will become regent. There you go. You're a little depressed, but you'll be all right. She have any genius kids? And that's not her sister's a genius, right? Yeah. She's matrilineal. Alright. Emperor Ordano restores his inherited barony of San Pedro. Uh, we'll just keep it for now until we get done. Built a war chest. So, <clears throat> it looks like they're going to attack us real stupidly. I th what the hell? What just happened? Alright, so. Where are all his men? Like, those guys are from a different. What you call it? Let me see. Is he leading men? No, he's not. Uh, where's his commanders at? I'm trying to find a battle that's got like a decent amount of men. I don't want to fight like a 200 man battle. They're all over here, I think. Or Vieto. Oh, he's actually over in by Rome. There's a couple more men. It's got men on us that are retreating though. I'm surprised he's actually attacking uh, Italy. That's the bulk, or not the bulk, how many men do you have? I think it's 15,000 men. He'd be hired a lot. I don't know how he keeps hiring all these men. He barely has money to do it. Alright, our wife is pregnant. That's nice. This is our second wife? Yeah. We don't have any kids with her. She's a genius, right? Yeah, and brawny. How do we get a genius brawny kid? We'll just sit here and siege us down, waiting for uh, some men to fight. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son, Roderico. Are you serious? I can't tell who it is. Alright, can we... Whoa.
Targeted Crusade, the Avia of Ascalon has finally fallen to our mighty arms in the wrath of God. That consumption is still there. We got 100 prestige and 100 piety. I cannot believe it hasn't moved at all. We need to get her married real quick. Um, the Duke of Bosnia is who I was looking at earlier. We have a lot of men, but. He's Catholic, he's a duke, he doesn't have any kids, there's not really any other uh, better ones that are rulers anyways. That kid's got consumption, he's probably going to die, he's not a duke, we'll go with him. There's still these piety for it. I don't want a marriage auction so good, not a regular marriage anyways, but we need to start finding him one, but we can wait. I seen a uh, Macadon, but oh, there's a good amount of men. Let's go help these guys. They're gonna get their ass kicked. You accept good. All right, now we're in on it. We're in there like swimwear. All right. At first, the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences, but now that they are becoming too frequent to be ignored, the omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are terrible. <laughs> I'm sure I'm misinterpreting the signs. Hopefully there's coincidence. Um, yeah, let's use our high learning to figure this out. So let's look here. Um, we're moving up now. The Duke of Champagne is holding with 22%. We could just go around chasing everybody. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't care if we get, uh, if we take a hit in, um, uh, attrition. We're just gonna roll through everybody. He usurped the bishopric of Lita. Um, they're going to Karak. We're just gonna follow him. All right, hurry, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I missed him. We keep getting held up by these like couple hundred men. <clears throat> All right, looks like he's coming back now. All right, it is good tradition to have some gossips around pregnant women in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. As Helene's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. She needs familiar faces around her. Mm, yeah, this one gives us prestige. All right, whoa, we got too much shit. What's going on? That's where in Seville. That's in Leon. We'll get rid of this first. And then we'll take care of that later. It looks, man, it hasn't moved at all. It's actually getting more people up here. Let's move these guys down there. It's spreading a little bit over there. We've got some men there. Look like they're okay, though. Um, those guys decided to run, some of the bitches. Well, let's go get them, then. Man, going and chasing these dudes, man, I'm going to end up losing out. Yeah, it's over here. Nice. He's got some men there. The Battle of Tyrus. This campaign has been easy picking. Sweet, swinging my sword over the plains is a pleasure. And my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of our Bedouin enemies. And the cries of battle. Look! Enemy commander, Mayor Ubad, is hiding. Someone suddenly shouts, pointing off in the distance. So, this guy's minus 17. We'll take him out. All right. The sun is beginning to set when I meet the mayor. My hammer of God ready for after he clumsily dodges one attack. My next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured face, but I rarely seen so much blood. So, he's disfigured. We don't get to kill him, which is a... Sad. Uh, what did we do now? We captured. Uh, actually, we captured a Catholic fighting with the Muslims. How dare you! Can we? We execute him. We have to lose piety, but I think there's no other thing that he should get other than that. If we excommunicate, that costs us piety too. Um. Yeah, we'll do that for fighting with the Muslims. 
I don't know if it'll uh, release them or not, though. Hopefully it doesn't. Alright, we need to go siege some shit now. Where are we at now? Oh, we're at top, but we need to siege. After hearing about a wise man... Alright, not this again. This one's a monothelite. Minus a lot. I don't know how you say that shit. Game one learning. Yeah, I'll take the learning. Uh, may you live in harmony and contentment. The vile excesses of huge can no longer be tolerated. I agree. Uh, let's go ahead and kill him now. So now he's excommunicated him on the mind. That's what you get for being a sinful whore. My lead to people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our technological level. I managed to study their advances and documents and clues. Here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to be your satisfaction. So let me get extra here. We got uh, some cultural. We're getting close to military. How is the consumption looking? I don't know if it was here or not. It was here, so at least it's starting to go away a little. I'm hoping our, because of our hospital being all right, we'll be okay. Um, that's fully taken. That's fully taken. Can we go here? Yeah, we'll go there. Start seeding down some stuff. A glob of a glob's host declared a glob's host claim on Egypt. Oh, this is the wrong time for him to deal with this. He still got 13,000 men. That guy's only at 3,000. Blessed has passed. Nono de Cantabria, the pious life, truly following example of God. He passed on December 23rd, 935. And people have long wondered if he was considered a true Christian or not. A large ceremony was held in Nono's honor by the Pope to celebrate the light he lived. A virtuous exemplar of true Catholics. The Pope write his name in the, amongst the pious Christians of old. A bastion of piety and life, stalwart or example in death. Blessed be the memory once again in the arms of God. So one of our kin uh, has become uh, beautified. That's good. Nothing special, but he's actually paranoid. His wife's still alive. But that's good. Another decontabria. So we had a uh, daughter. My wife has turned gluttonous, it seems. Uh, Monia Doma. Monia Doma. That is their name. Uh, we'll go with it, I guess. Fatigue. How are we fatigued? We're in a damn war. We're out of time for fatigue. Watch me get consumption, not even be there. Come on, man. Go away from Seville, please. Let me check all the little kitties. Uh, everybody's cool for now. Uh, please don't die on the battlefield. A sort of thinks your symptoms point to cancer. It insists that you follow his instructions. Hopefully I'm able to finish this. I don't think I will though. Azor insisted that the foul smells of civilization made you sick in order to take walks in the wilderness. I love this. <laughs> These uh, things for your ailments. Jesus Christ, we just lost like 2,000 men. Man, the supply limits here are insanely low. We're going to lose so many men. At tradition, my wife Helene underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. She felt much better when she returned, clearly relieved to have fully rejoined the church after her forced abstinence. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, we will pick up where we left off next episode. Um, we should be done next time. For all these men, he doesn't really have like a lot of men over here. I don't know if they maybe just haven't gotten here yet. These guys are Fogian, Fogian, whatever. Uh, revolt. Nobody's on Iberia. There's still a lot of Catholics that aren't even here. Um, some of these guys out here just can't even make it there. They don't even have boats. Does he even have boats? He has three boats. He can't even take 400 men. Uh, there are... What is this guy doing? And why is he red? Uh, he was uh, raiding us. He must have just raided us. Son of a bitch. Because I don't see, uh, 
it's way too um high for him to not have just rated us. So yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, hopefully consumption will be moving away. Uh, and then we will finish this up and we'll see what we get out of it. There's a good host there. That's 8,500 men. So right now we are in the lead with 14% of the contribution. As long as we stay in the lead, we should get a good amount of money and some artifacts. We're not going to get any land because uh, it's pretty much going to uh, little Gaultier here. All right, it's hold on a second. Now it's saying this guy is the claimant. This Duke. And it better not take that land there because we're going to have a problem. <clears throat> I don't know why it has that there as him, but it has him as the war person. Unless that's just a war, but I think it is whoever the recipient goes to it regardless. But uh, we could choose to take a different stance, but I'd rather him get it. He's already the king there. So we'll go ahead and end this here. Um, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.